Welcome back to Banished, everybody. My name is Bear. Thanks so much for putting up with the delay yet again. I know it's been terrible. I, I believe I've explained it before in this particular series. I know I've said it elsewhere, but we have been moving, so my entire setup has unfortunately been in transition for the majority of this past week or so, which means I've been unable to really get this done and had a lot of things come up on the wayside. But we are back to the glorious land of Bear Statska, hopefully... For the long run, meaning that, oh, that was a beautiful voice crack, but for the long run, meaning that uh, I should be able to get this out very, very consistently, as I in initially had hoped to. So let's go ahead and plan on that. But for now, it's time to uh, restart in our adventures here, kind of regather ourselves and uh, assess the situation, determine what the best courses of action are, are going to be as we begin year eight, which is a pretty damn good deal here. I think we uh, have the opportunity now of perhaps growing a little bit further out into this new atmosphere over here in the new uh, inlets uh, that is set in between the river and is actually adjacent to a fairly large body of water, which may be ideal for building out new fishery, fishery expansions. I suppose marina would be the best name for it. What do they call it? They call it like a fisher's dock. Yeah, fishing, shish, fishing dock. How do I forget it when its name is dock? It's like the the critical element of the NLSS crew vocabulary that I am not a part of. <laughs> well, I like to I like to pretend I know those guys. I like to pretend if I met them in a crowded ha hallway, they'd be like, "Hey, it's Bear," and I'd be like, "How'd you recognize me?" And they'd be like, "We saw you on Facebook," and uh, and then it's just a really creepy engagement from there on. But anyway. I think I need to focus on getting this church up because, uh, or not the uh, church, sorry, the hospital, because I believe that was the the next big thing I wanted to go for. Of course, we have a decent supply of iron coming in that we've managed to harvest from this area down here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and mark this last little supply for gathering. And, you know, I might as well get for this one as well. We're not really planning on saving that for anything in particular. Might as well gather that up. I'm also thinking about the possibility of uh, building another another sort of a gathering position over here on the south end. I know it's probably a good idea to build a stockpile somewhere over here by the uh, by the main source of wood as well. I'm, I'm realizing too. I believe the commenter pointed this out actually. The, the fact that the uh, the forester actually has to walk. A uh, significant distance to get over here to the Firecutter's Lodge, but it is also kind of symbiotic with the fact that they are right next to the stockpile here. It probably won't be that big of an issue, considering that fact as well. Now, unfortunately, we have completely run dry on iron, so it looks like I will have to get the... Uh, or no, sorry, that's stone that we're out of, so we're going to have to go ahead and look for a big source of that as well. Which should be right about here. I've just got a little bit of stone in that area. I think I can rotate this around. Let me see if I can, uh, oh, jeez, that is loud. I apologize. Fix that up real quick. But I think, uh, I think we'll be okay. I do need to look into the possibility of generating more townsfolk as well. But one thing that'll really help us out with that is, uh, actually getting this town hall finished. So I might want to reconsider the priority of building here. Let's go ahead and have a look, another look at our quarry, because this, of course, is not, uh, producing as much as I'd like it to. And we're not assigning anyone to the building section either, of course, because we still have yet to gather all the resources necessary to begin that kind of construction. But the quarry itself, unfortunately, is not generating any kind of reliable stone. I guess I call it income. The income of stone. It's just a luxury to be traded for. God, I love the, uh... I love the atmosphere, man. I have been missing this. Banish provides me with such a... I don't even know what the word is. It's it's this delving into the sense of a medieval era that, that can only really be accomplished via this game and a renaissance fair in which you wear your underwear outside of your pants. That's just classic in this era, you know, day and age of undergarments outside of the, of the trousers. That's actually what I should have named my city, an acronym for that. U-O-O-T-T. What? I might rename it now. If I had the option, I might consider it. Maybe next time, but we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to remember that. Okay. Church. God, hospital. Why do we keep wanting to call this a church? I think I had this weird idea of putting the church by the graveyard, but it was actually uh, the complete opposite of that. Uh, the hospital next to the graveyard. Wow, that was a really insensitive remark, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, totally unintentional, too. My apologies. Okay. I think... Uh, I think we're kind of just hanging on. 
We're hoping that the stone I'm gathering from down here is going to provide enough. In fact, I may have to just tell these guys, look, take whatever you can get here. Take it all up. We don't need it to be sitting there anymore. This is, this is what we need to get construction done. The fire... Firewood limit has been reached as well. Maybe I just want to stop work here for a while, take that guy out, have another laborer available for us. I really think I need to reprioritize here. The stone to the town hall is the only thing left to do. I'm going to go ahead and stop production on the hospital for now. I want to get this stone over here to the town hall because that provides us... I'm not even sure if I finished this thought. The town hall provides us with the opportunity to acquire nomads. Nomads being fully grown adult laborers that come from outside areas. The only way to get them is through the town hall, and if we don't have a town hall, then we don't even have that opportunity. And that could really start escalating our growth quite a bit more quickly than it's uh, occurring right now. Of course, we do have quite a few students in the schoolhouse learning themselves up to become educated adult laborers, which are always very, very welcome. We've got a few children as well. Growth is kind of stagnating apart from that, though. I think the last time we had a child born was, well, it was early spring of this year. And we just did get another laborer, so maybe I, uh, the game is forcing me to eat my words here. But still think it's probably for the best to allow construction to continue on the town hall and provide us that opportunity for very, very quick, excessive growth. Of course, the food supply is still going strong, and another thing I really have wanted for such a long time is the access to all those graphs, all those charts that show us the actual consumption of food at a rate that we can determine will, uh, you know, allow us the availability to expand with our, uh, with our actual construction of houses and, you know, natural growth of our citizens and all that. So the town hall, I think... I've convinced myself. I, th I think I've given myself plenty of reason to determine that yes, that is the best, the best thing to do in the uh, in the very, very near future. What I may want to consider is the fact that my supply of logs is also beginning to uh, to look pretty hardy, especially considering they're just stockpiling basically all of my supply right here. None of them are in the storage barn, which I don't think actually happens. It may only be stockpiles that house logs. I'm pretty sure that is the case. Got a couple more laborers here now, actually. This is looking good. But um, what, I'm, what I'm hoping to do is get a very, very steady supply of logs. Which is kind of what I was leaning toward doing. As I was looking down here in this area, I figured I might be able to build a road long enough to go all the way down here and allow the Forester's Lodge number two to actually make use of all these trees in this area. Including that of the, uh, the side on the east of the big lake that we see over here. and In fact, I'm starting to look at that and realize this body of water is not nearly as uh, well suited to the new construction of a fishing dock as that uh, massive lake down there. But of course, the construction on the town hall will be beginning soon. I should, in fact, put a couple of builders on the case. We're only 11 stone away, and I might just go ahead and start up the 10x simulation speed. We've got another laborer, two more laborers. Okay, so that, uh... That comment I made about the necessity of nomads is actually starting to feel kind of silly now as I realize the students were actually very, very close to becoming adult educated laborers themselves. So that looks good to me. Town Hall is only nine stone away. It's just so very, very close. I'm starting to look at the, the uh, production of food and realizing that, yes, indeed, we have the capability of building yet another home should we so desire. But, of course, the uh, excess laborers I ought to be putting in the quarry as well. If we have three more of these guys in here, this ought to actually provide us with a, uh... It's starting to look like a decent production of stone. Certainly not anything we can rely on by itself uh, for, for quite some time. But if I manage to uh, even build a second quarry once, I, once I'm looking into just an overall abundance of laborers... Of course, we still got to worry about the inevitability of some kind of huge disaster plaguing our fields and town town folk. But I think we'll be uh, I think we'll be looking at a a decent amount of natural resources coming from excavation of the ground and all that. Of course, we see the 97% remaining on the quarry. This thing is not going away for a long, long time. I think it could be something between like 15 and 20 years that the quarry actually provides you with an output of. Uh, or a decent supply of the resources it mines for. And I'm just kind of pulling that out of my butt just based on the uh, length of time that it's gone for and the amount of t uh, the, the length of a game that I've been able to produce uh, 
items from the quarry and the mine and all that. But I think it sounds about right. I mean, it, it's the the general gist of it is there's there's no reason to really worry for quite a while about whether or not your quarry is actually going to run out of supplies to mine for, and then having to you know destroy that building and create a whole new quarry for yourself. Don't hit the little deer! Oh my god! Took a big detour to avoid that! <laughs> well done, sir! Oh, I applaud your relationship with PETA. That was impressive. But we have reached ourselves... I believe this might be our first merchant arriving at the trading post. I don't recall anyone uh, before him. So, unfortunately, I don't have many things that he wants. But he does have cattle, and I definitely want to try to trade for that. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a second here so we can kind of look at the inventory and see whether or not we have the option of trading some things that he may desire from us. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's interested in food of any sort, which is the only thing I really have a lot of excess of. I do have some herbs that I could probably trade with him. I'm not sure if I have any of those available in the marketplace right now, and I, I do not, so I want to see... Let's go ahead and just put 20 in there for now. I want to see just how much I can get, just how much value I can generate from those things, and uh, I might be able to trade with those. Uh, also, hide jackets, hide coats, rather, have a decent supply of. If I could trade him some firewood, I think firewood would be a valuable commodity for this guy. If I can go ahead and just get 200 of those, I'm going to go ahead and restart the uh, production of firewood over here in the woodcutter's lodge. I do have an extra laborer I can just throw in there right now. I believe the construction has started on the town hall. Yes, that is fantastic. That should be done pretty, pretty quickly. That makes me happy. I don't think the merchant will leave until I've dismissed him. I've never had a merchant just d d depart without any kind of indication from me that he should be doing that. So I think we'll be safe, just kind of keeping him here for a while. We'll be able to get at least one cattle with the supply of 200 firewood that I'll be getting from the storage barn. So that's good. Of course, we are kind of depleting our own supply by doing this, but I suspect we'll be okay for at least this winter. As we're going through winter, late winter and early spring, I think we'll be okay. But, uh, for now, I really need to focus on the fact that I don't have enough to, uh, to get. I was trying to get at least two or three cattle, and I'm trying to figure out what I could possibly give him. I suppose some iron? I could give him some of that? Let's go ahead and just give him, or, uh, supply ourselves with 20 iron and see what that'll produce for us. Uh, looks like the herbs actually aren't of any value to him either, so unfortunately we're just gonna go ahead and... Well, we'll keep those, I suppose, uh, to have them in supply in case we need to look at possibility of trading them with another merchant. What I ought to do pretty soon is look into completing this tavern because I do realize that uh, alcohol is actually a very, very valuable trading commodity the majority of the time, unless you happen to be trading with a boat that is itself trading alcohol, which is, I've not actually seen that, so I don't know if that actually exists, to be honest. But alcohol is definitely something we want to look into as far as uh, getting all of our excess buildings underway. And the town hall should be done soon. I am basically waiting to see whether or not the uh, the iron that I traded in here is valuable to him. Looks like it's value of five, which we don't really have enough of it to make it worthwhile. So it looks like I may best just be desperately hoping to get two cattle out of this trade. If I wanted to, I could really just push the uh, push the envelope here and just trade as much of everything as I possibly can. In fact, if I got him about a hundred hide coats. I think I could get away with that. I really think I could. Let's go for 90. So if we did 90, I'm going to do some quick math in my head here. 90 hide coats times 10. That would be, or no, sorry, times 15. That would be a value of about, uh, let's see, 450. That's about 1350 if I'm doing my math right. Which is almost covering the cost of two cattle on its own. We got another 800 from the firewood. I could, if I really, really pushed it, be looking at a possibility of getting three cattle here. I think I want to kind of go for that. So let's try to trade a little bit more iron. We'll go for this. We'll up our firewood limit by about 40. Oh, I'm really, really, really cutting it close there. I need to get more firewood generated. We are getting through the early spring here, so I think we're, we're going to be fine as far as this particular year is concerned for that. Uh, but we are going to get that excess iron in here, hopefully. Trading for that. Uh, the iron is in a, a decent amount of excess here. I mean, it's okay, it's certainly not excess, but it is enough to uh, to allow us to trade for it. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, sorry, what just happened? I'm kind of interested. Oh, okay, just telling us the reserve of firewood is low, because we're trading it all away like idiots. 
All right, we're going to put those 90 hide coats in there. That is exactly what I thought it was. Fantastic. 200 firewood is going to generate another 800 for us. We do, do all these iron tools as well. I'm totally fine with, uh, with trading all those away. And then we need an additional 170 units to get the three cattle, which will come in the form of this 60 iron, if I am correct in my mathematics. And I'm not really sure what I want to save the most here. I think it might be these extra hide coats because I don't want to have to generate too many more. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this into 88 hide coats, and that'll be exactly enough to get all these three cattle, and that looks good to me. Just want to make sure I'm not doing anything terrible here. I think we're going to be okay. Looks good. All right, let's do it. Three cattle acquired from the merchant. I've traded away just about everything I could possibly get. If I really wanted to, I might have gone for four. That would have really put me at a uh, at a loss. And we finally finished the town hall, blocked by all these beautiful trees. Ah, uh, well, we get to see the fruits of our labor in many, many situations here. In fact, I kind of want to look at the possibility of just building a pasture very close by. I kind of wish I'd left myself a little bit more room here. I suppose I can just let time continue going. Let's see if I can get the pasture going in this particular area. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Ah, uh, no, unfortunately, it's a bit too small. So I'm going to have to build it elsewhere. Where is the best place to house our newly acquired cattle? I think it might be right here. I think I'm okay with this. Yeah. That looks good to me. Well, then again, it's right next to the hospital. Oh, man. I've really, uh... I've really put myself in a pickle here as far as the appropriate place to build this pasture. Uh, the reserve of firewood is still going down. He's gonna have to crank that out. You know what? I think I'm gonna be okay with this. We're gonna go ahead and build our big old pasture right over here by the uh, by the cemetery and by the hospital. That'll be interesting. I don't know what any kind of symbiosis may occur, or uh, what's the opposite of symbiosis? Parasitic relationship. <laughs> that could that could be happening as a result of uh, placing this pasture down by uh, two homes, a cemetery, and a hospital. But I suppose we'll find out. That'll be interesting enough to see. As soon as that pasture's done, I believe they'll just immediately move these cattle out of the marketplace oh, and right over here. The cattle are going to be very good, though. That's going to be providing us a, uh, a little bit of extra happiness, I believe. That might get us up to five stars. Four and a half stars is still very good, of course. Until we're getting in, like, the three-star area. That's when we really want to be heavily focused on doing things that allow us to, uh, to make our citizens happier. But now, as we can see, I can finally look... At my, uh, at my food production and all of my other various uh, consumptions and uses of products. And I can see that we are still indeed producing more food than we are consuming. It'll be better to see it as a result of the, uh, the end of this year's crop harvest. We'll be able to really look at what's going on as far as our, uh, as far as our food output and input is concerned. Of course, there's no nomads at this point. We can uh, see all the various seeds and livestock we've gathered up to this point as well. Tone Wall has become a student. Sounds more like a uh, an element of the building itself, Tone Wall, but whatever. Production is still good as far as the food is concerned. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself we can probably build another house safely and get away with it. So that might be my next construction project. I did, of course, also mention the fact that, oh god, first of all, I need to be focused on the builders and laborers eschewed here. I may finish the hospital. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to open up the possibility of the tavern here as well. And we do have an excess labor I can put right into the pasture. So let's go ahead and do that and allow the, uh, allow the cattle over here to, uh, to start feeling better about themselves. I don't know why. Let's, let's try this again, actually. Let's go ahead and just... Oh, they're moving across the river. That's convenient. <laughs> I didn't... Wow. A lot of the uh, the members of my society really enjoy ignoring geometry or, or, you know, things that you would imagine would otherwise impede their progress to a particular area. These cattles are smart, man. These cattles. The plural of cattle is cattles. That's not true. Don't listen to me. Don't go to my English classes. They're, they're terrible. Oh, blacksmith needs to make more tools. Oh, God. Okay, hang on a second. Let's, uh, let's immediately fix this. I've got some more, uh, oh god, I used all my iron, this is bad. That trade, I really hope it ended up being worth it. I'm having to use iron to build this tavern as well. We are getting these things built, so I guess that's good. Unfortunately, I am, uh, I'm really letting my, uh, supply of laborers go down. 
Let's go ahead and make sure we're not missing out on any stone or iron in this particular area. I'm just gonna scan this whole thing and just make absolutely damn sure that this is not happening. Looks like we've re reached our maximum supply of herbs again. I think I uh, might up his limit. I'm not really ready to take him out of the herbalist's hut just yet. We're gonna go ahead and keep that going. Uh, one laborer and one builder. This one builder is, of course, building up our tavern here as well as our hospital. So it doesn't look like anything's actually happening over there in the hospital just yet. Pastor's doing just fine. They are probably going to be generating leather and milk. Well, I doubt they're going to be generating any leather. I don't think uh, you can really properly harvest leather off a cow and then just have it regenerate. Unless we have some wolverine cows. That'd be badass. Anyway, market's looking okay. I don't really know if I need to have 60 iron in the marketplace anymore, so we'll go ahead and not do that. I'll keep the herbs for now. I don't know why I'm not paying attention to this as much as I ought to be. So we're bringing this down. The extra fish and venison is probably not that big of a deal, but we really don't want to have that amount of hide coats in here anymore. i got to remember every time I make those kind of trades to bring the, uh, bring the limits down so I'm not automatically depleting the resources again as soon as we complete the trade. That is a big thing that I often forget to do. How in the world are we planting trees here? This is just silly. That is unnecessary to separate the fishing dock visually from the rest of the town. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this Forester's Lodge is just really, really starving for space here. That's kind of what I want to do is allow myself the opportunity to build all the way out here with this new Forester's Lodge and try to get a bunch of logs supplied that way. Our tools, of course, is low. We do have the blacksmith working on that. The supply of hide jackets should actually be a lot higher now that we're bringing a lot of them back from the uh, from the trading post. I think we'll be okay in that respect. Okay, I am happy, man. Let's see if we're actually generating anything for the pasture yet. Probably it'll be next season, but we do have somebody working this, so that should help us out quite a bit. Tavern is nearing completion, and of course we'll have to dedicate somebody to actually producing alcohol from there. We'll have to get a, a brewer. If we want to get the best value out of that. And, uh, Town Hall's looking good as well. I'm, uh, I'm very happy. We've made a good amount of progress here in this particular, uh, episode. Episodial progression. There we are. Generating some alcohol. Let's see what kind of supplies we need here. I've got a lot of berries. Berries are in good supply. I've got some onions as well. I don't think we can generate onion mead. Let's see what we can do here. I think ch berries or cherries are going to be the one we want to do. Do we get cherries? I don't think we have cherries, actually. What are we generating over here? we got pecans, which are not going to provide us any kind of, uh, any kind of ale, unfortunately. Reach the supply of firewood again. Very, very good. Who is working that? Let's find out. I can do that over here. Production of... Uh, no, sorry. We want to look at... We want to look at... Totally don't even remember. It's, uh, it's over here. It's the woodcutter. Who's doing that? I can see that, right? I swear I can see that. There's some kind of weird button I could click over here to look at who's working this thing. I'll remember it eventually, but congratulations, whoever you are. I, I'm proud of you. Just know that much. That's not where the cattle go. <laughs> You're, you, however, I'm worried about, Lambertus. You need to kind of, uh, do a better job herding your cows here, bud. You know, you see these fences? I, I mean, we, I know we had the issues with geometry before, but really, that's like your, your very most basic task. You don't even really have to do anything to try to do that, to keep them inside of the fence. That's just impressive that you managed to fail in such a manner. Oh, that's terrible. Right, let's get some alcohol over here in the, uh, in the trading post. And then I'm going to go ahead and just let firewood production continue. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pleased. I think things are looking pretty good. Of course, we've still got the worry of supplying a lot of stone and or iron for ourselves in the immediate future. But for now, things are looking pretty, pretty satisfying. And I think this is going to be where we leave off for today. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Banish. we got a lot of things to look into for next time. 
Uh, some expansion going over in this direction. In fact, the uh, creation of a couple more homes is probably looking like a good idea here. Hopefully, we'll maybe get the opportunity to get some nomads over here as well. Probably cut off the firewood here. In fact, we're going to go ahead and do that and allow ourselves another laborer or another builder to get things going. But yeah, we got a lot to look forward to next time. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I will see you very shortly.